We are comparing two tanks, Tank X and Tank Y. Each holds one cubic meter of water, and each has the same small outlet hole of diameter two centimeters at the bottom. Which tank empties first, and what are the emptying times? We'll use Torcelli's law, continuity, and a mass balance to get a clean formula for the time. On the left is Tank X, shaped like an hourglass with a narrow waist in the middle. On the right is Tank Y, which bulges in the middle and is narrow at the bottom and the top. We'll fill both with the same initial water height of one meter, and we will let them drain through identical outlet holes of diameter two centimeters. Here are the physics basics. Torricelli's exit speed says, V equals the square root of 2GH, where H is the water head above the hole. Therefore, the volumetric flow rate is Q equals A times the square root of 2GH, from conservation of mass or volume. A of H times DH by DT equals negative Q, integrating from full height down to zero, gives the emptying time. T equals 1 over A times the square root of 2G multiplied by the integral from H equals zero to h of a of h over square root h dh. To evaluate the integral, we need a of h, the cross-sectional area as a function of height. We model each tank with a piecewise linear radius. Then a of h equals pi, r of h squared, for tank x, an hourglass with a narrow waist at mid-height. The waist radius is 0.29464 meters, and the top and bottom radius is 1.17855 meters. For tank Y, which bulges in the middle, the middle radius is 0.94226 meters, and the top opening radius is 0.12563 meters. The precise piecewise formulas are shown here. We now evaluate the integral of A of H over square root H for each tank. For tank X, the integral value is approximately 1.12834. For tank Y, it is approximately 1.46295. The prefactor 1 over square root 2g uses a equals pi times 0 0.01 squared and g equals 9.81, which gives the time scale. Using these, the ideal emptying times are t sub x equals 810.85 seconds, which is about 13.5 minutes, and t sub y equals 1051.31 seconds, about 17.5 minutes. With a more realistic discharge coefficient of 0.6, we multiply times by 1 over c sub d. So t sub x is about 1,351.42 seconds, which is about 22.5 minutes. t sub y is about 1,752.18 seconds, about 29.2 minutes. Let's visualize the drain. We'll run both tanks on the same time axis. Tank x will finish first, then tank y. The animation is a time comparison, not a frame-perfect physical solution. Watch the lower parts. The integrand is A of H divided by square root H, which weighs more heavily near small h values. A narrower area near the bottom means a smaller integral and a faster emptying. Why does tank X empty before tank Y? The emptying time is proportional to the integral of A of H over square root H from 0 to H. Because of the 1 over square root H, the parts of the tank near small h, that is near the bottom, are weighted more heavily. Tank X has a smaller cross section near the bottom thanks to its narrow waist. So its integral is smaller, and that makes its emptying time shorter. Tank Y has more area near the bottom, so it stays heavy longer and empties later. Final answer. Tank X empties before tank Y. With a realistic discharge coefficient of 0.6, the times are for tank X about 22.5 minutes, and for tank Y, about 29.2 minutes.